Hey everyone, it's iMajorX and uh, I am currently making a passive training video for Dungeoneering. I'm not exactly sure what I have to do here. Um, probably shouldn't. I, I've got I've got some ping though, which isn't the best. Uh, there's nothing in here, and I haven't Dungeoneered in a long time, as you can probably see. I'm running a uh, looks like pretty high graphics to me at least. Um, I, I I am feeling a little bit better. I just really have to cough right now. I I have a cup of tea next to me because I'm expecting this to be a little bit of a longer, probably um, floor. I would I would say I'm not. I I forgot I forgot to do all of this. I forgot. Um, oh, that that looks really bad actually. Skeleton's beasting me. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get out of here, and I need to eat. Okay, so there's there's obviously a reason why I I, I don't do dungeoneering. Uh, one is because it's terrible, and two is because I don't really give a shit. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, but let's see. So my team is currently going that way. Obviously, I I don't really know why. They they must have a plan because. I didn't see any differences between the one on the left and the one on over here, the purple crescent door that they went through. Uh, there was a GD over there that they, they probably needed to get. But basically, this is going to be pretty much a longer video as I as I relearn how to train dungeoneering. Um, I'm actually going to follow them. Um, I might I might even take my graphics down for a second. But actually, where is everyone? I I I personally don't. <coughs> Sorry, I personally don't get why. Um. Oh, I thought I was I thought I was slashing this whole time. That's what I wanted to do. I'm pretty sure the group stone was down way over there, but. I personally want to train dungeoneering, obviously, because everyone wants to get those chaotic weapons. Um, those are a huge part. Is it stab that I want to be on? I know that there's one that's better for goblins for the rapier, but everyone wants to get those dungeoneering weapons. Um, the only reason why I really haven't for a while is because it takes um, way too long of a time, in my opinion, and I don't like this this skill at all, or at least I don't like the skill enough to train it constantly like that. Actually the last time that I spent training Dungeoneering for a decently long amount of time was doing um, paying, paying, I was paying people to do it. Uh, it just shows you exactly how how much I value the skill. Um, I was actually paying quite a bit too. I'm not sure if I was paying quite a bit. It was like 3 mil for an occult or <coughs> coughing. Bo, but if you want to look through my party really quickly, I think it's um, what like a, oh that's the highest one that I've seen so far, 136, uh, 126, 125. They're really they're really not high levels. Um, I, I don't think their dungeoneering level is nearly as high either. Mainly because we're doing a large whatever this floor is. That water looks so cool with these graphics. Like honestly, it's one of the coolest. Like. I should just have this this graphic setting on always. I don't even care how laggy I get. It just looks freaking awesome. <coughs> but let's look through um, some of the progresses that I've had in the skill. Right now I'm 137k experience off of 77. Um, that's not that's not close to uh, a chaotic. If you were wondering, mainly because I spent all of my tokens pretty much I think I bought an arcane arcane necklace I bought a totem anti-poison totem bags a um, bunch of other stuff that I can't really think of uh, some stuff I died and lost so the point is I don't really have a lot of tokens I'm pretty sure I have almost no tokens um, I forgot how you do this one don't, don't you have to match it Oh, my guy doesn't want to move. God. I wish 
with this guy over here. Nope. Okay, you can do that too. Either way, we have to move it. I don't like how this statue blocks every form of me walking. There you go. Well, that was just straight straight annoying. I I need to get used to the I'm gonna actually try this one, mainly because I'm I've been training my rune crafting since the what is it, the update has come out with right here. Yeah. I'll just let one person do that actually. It's okay. You you got this. You got it. I'll let you force some of them though. Um, but yeah, so I've been training rune crafting. Uh, I actually got it up the most I've gotten it up probably ever in the last like year. Uh, I got a couple levels actually. I'm up to 74. I don't remember what was that the other day. It was at 71 the other day. I haven't trained it since like level 68. 68 to 71 was off of like lamps and uh, stuff. But rune span, in my opinion, has just been kicking ass. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it basically extremely, just extremely a lot. It's, it's been um, really fun. Each AFKing. Oh, 99 thieving. Don't have that. Uh, I think I can do this one though, because I might have the highest rune crafting. But no, I don't probably then. <coughs> Where's my cup of water? Not water. Tea. I've got tea. But it's extremely fun. It's been really AFK. Um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to train it uh, for as long as I can, probably. I'm poisoned. Can you see these boom effects? Uh, personally, like those the when they shoot stuff at me, it used to look really crappy and then just outrageously bad. And now with like the bloom effects on and direct X, uh, especially since they did that whole thing with the FPS issues just looks absolutely amazing in my opinion so I'm, I'm really liking this game pretty much is what I'm trying to say I will, I'll be um, I'll be playing a lot more I guess because let's see what's happening I'm, I'm just gonna tell you what my schedule my schedule personally looks like in uh, <coughs> what my schedule looks like in the next couple weeks I guess. So this week I actually have a um, let's see I've got I've got three more weeks until I'm completely done with my schooling. Um, college should get out before then and then high school should get out after then. Um, after that all I have to do is nothing pretty much. I'll be I'll be free. As soon as school gets out, which is in three weeks, I should be having a pretty pretty um, free summer in my opinion. Not free summer, but free video making experience and whatever. <coughs> but I should be back to playing this game. And since I don't have anything really besides testing, uh, hopefully I'll be playing this game AFK. If you guys want to see some, I guess, AFK videos where I just talk, I could even just record me talking and then um, maybe just post that on like a podcast type series. And then that'll just be kind of something that if you guys wanted to see it while I uh, study, then I'll gladly make it. I'll probably make it anyways, even if you don't want it, just because it's, uh, it's nice to get more frequent videos out, in my opinion. How did they... your party use a silver what? Oh, where did they even... I went to the map yet. Alright, I'll just group gates on this. Um, completely forgot what I was talking about, honestly. Oh yeah, I, I would just kind of be making like a podca uh, podcast type series where, not really series, but just a podcast type frequent videos while I, while I go through schooling. I have to study for, um, four or five finals. That actually means something. And other than that, it should just be pretty easy and I should be pretty relaxed. So that's up to you guys. Not really. 
that's that's up to you guys, but I'll gladly do it um, if you want me to. It'll be kind of just like a nice thing for for me to do because one, I like AFKing and RuneScape. Um, I'm gonna be doing that for some mining because I'm almost level 90. I like having 90 uh, level 90 skills. It's always fun. <coughs> and then I'll also be doing that for RuneCrafting. Now the only bad part about RuneSpan is that you don't make any money. But the cool part about it is that you get the cool Wicked Hood armor. I guess I shouldn't say Wicked Hood armor. Just the Wicked armor. Which is pretty cool. Why is this guy suiciding? Um, that was cool of him I guess. But not really. We have a silver diamond and uh, by all means I think I should be able to run it here. I'm not sure who attacks me honestly. So hopefully it's not a shade. Of course it's a shade. Um, that's me being my massive king skills success, and there's nothing up. Oh, there's a crescent that I have to go get, I guess. Is there any fish? Uh, I can get blue crabs. Um, this obviously isn't isn't the best thing. I I don't really want you guys to see me failing at dungeoneering, but I like to make um, passive training videos one and then dungeoneering. And I'm actually just gonna start tying this into like a podcast about uh, behind the scenes for. June in one second while I be right back. Okay, everyone, I'm back, and as I was uh, kind of reviewing some things and um, everything like that, first off, damn, I don't want to be in here. Actually, sure, I can be if this guy is. But, I'm put turmoil in because this is ridiculous. Um, but I really it's one of the one things why I don't like dungeoneering because um, there's always those people that let's see what's it called um, rage quit uh, we just had a team member actually leave the dungeon and now it's just a four four member dungeon so hopefully he doesn't have any of the stats that we needed for for this because that would just kind of suck uh, crap load I hate when you can't complete the the dungeons. That's it's probably one of the worst worst parts of dungeoneering. And then I got some. Uh, and then I want to get off of that note, and I want to start with let's say some behind the scenes for May. I think I actually said June last time. That's just me being stupid. So behind the scenes for May, um, one of the big things coming out is obviously the QED. <coughs> <coughs> Now the QBD is one of the most exciting things in my opinion because uh, I love boss fights. I'm always going to, um, even if I don't do them, I haven't done I haven't done a boss fight for a really long time actually, just because I'm not a big fan. Oh, that was a win. We didn't even need the guy. <coughs> um, but boss fights are a really big thing. I really like soloing bosses more than um, teaming bosses. Because uh, when you rely on a team, people can be assholes. Uh, you can easily be crashed. Stuff like that. But one of the things that you do when you're soloing, you don't have to worry about any of those. Because uh, if you... Well, one, you can't be crashed. It's not multiplayer. So not more than one person can attack the same... <coughs> attack the same... Um, monster if you're training it like that in a single 1v1 multiplayer kind of boss area something like that there's not too many bosses like that I mean in my opinion I would count TDs as that sort of thing um, you can always get crashed at TDs but uh, if you've never been if you've never been there it's really easy to avoid that all you have to do is run around the rock and then come back and then no one can do anything because You've got like six TDs in one spot, and if you walk out, you're gonna take like 1,200 damage immediately. Um, and then people that are in like full Torva and stuff, they don't they don't need that stuff, so they won't typically crash. So overall, you'll just be pretty much set. And then um, I didn't see any real big developments uh, in the behind the scenes for what the QBD would be um, tactically wise, if it would be strategic, 
anything like that. Uh, smithing, 80 smithing. So I'm not too worried about that part of it. Um, can I? Can I do this? Read sarcophagus. Utilize plus honored with the discovery of paper reaper. 104 herb lore. Yeah, let's just let's just call this one, you guys. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I've been poisoned by a spider. I'm not too worried about the extra bonuses. I just kind of wanted to make a video like this. I get to kill a boss in a second. That's um, not. I think I don't think it's the hardest. It's just mine. But back to the QBD. That's that's the main tactical thing I found. Or I didn't find anything tactical about the QBD. It didn't really elaborate on it. So I'll just push that one out. Um, another thing that they said was. Seven room grafting. <coughs> Another one that they said was coming out would be a um, another the one they said would be coming out would be a quest available for everyone where you can upgradable crossbow. Um, that sounds pretty cool in my opinion. Range was my first ninety nine actually. I like crossbows. I like. Uh, basically everything about ranged honestly I just need to train it a little bit more often um, honestly I don't know why I don't boss as much as I, I do or as much as I should because right now I'm thinking about it and I keep on thinking about all these times where I used to go to boss fights and everything and it was one of the one of the coolest things in my in my personal experiences throughout RuneScape and now that I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about all these summers and stuff. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have the same opinions where you remember things about RuneScape that are pretty exciting. Now lately, in RuneScape I've been having the same kind of view on it with all the all the new updates. Okay. So yeah. <coughs> Sorry. I'm a dick, but uh, with all the new updates coming out into RuneScape, RuneSpan, FPS uh, updates, I get this cool looking animation type scene. It's boss. I don't. I don't really care about the rest of the doors. I just kind of want to get boss and then do that. All this kind of cool animations. There's a new boss coming out. Uh, it just basically, to me, it looks like something that would be pretty fun and I, I really just can't wait to get a real feel of everything um, I went through this kind of like break where yes yeah okay I could make a potion really quickly can't I or do I not have any of the herbs no they don't sell any herbs sir wormwood potion Okay, okay, boss. <coughs> finishing finishing dungeoneering already this quick. Uh, basically, a pretty fail uh, dungeoneering trip. I'm not sure how much extra EXP you get for. What is that? F six floors? Uh, five or six floors? Uh, I don't want to be in there. Nope, don't want to be in there. Give me up. Come on. Okay, that's cool. I'm not even sure if he is like a melee based thing or what. I took the pickaxe, didn't I? Why couldn't I take it? You take a pickaxe out of the rock. Okay. Wield it. Now attack him. I want to like mine it. Can I do that? I'm just getting shat on by this. Um, gotta love this. Gotta love this boss. I'm honestly about the deli. Uh, I I have no idea what's happening here, but oh yeah, I'm going out of here. Screw that. You guys.
So just pretty much ignore what's happening on the screen as I as I do this <coughs> uh, because it's not going to look pretty. And I know there's going to be a bunch of you that train Dungeoneering uh, really successfully, and you guys probably get up to like 300,000 experience per hour. I am going to get around 20,000 experience per hour. I'm not saying that it's been an hour since I started this, but it's going to be pretty close to that range of experience, I'm pretty sure. I'm just honestly trying not to die. I'm, I'm not sure how big of a loss it is, but it used to be like minus 7, minus 13 uh, percent when I did it. No. Let's just finish. Let's just finish. <clears throat> I mean, because obviously two people aren't going to... I got to go by... Just let RS log me out. Because obviously two of us aren't, aren't going to be able to do this. Burnt, get your ass over here. I don't think he understands the situation. Now I have to explain it to him. Um, but anyways, back to the thing. So there's going to be an updatable crossbow. Obviously I got majorly off topic when I was talking. Um... But overall, I'm not sure how good the crossbow is going to be because it's available to everyone and there are no requirements to start the quest. So, I mean, if we got into like a pretty high level crossbow, I'd be one impressed and um, I'd be pretty excited. Uh, that and Wild May, I think, was the only other one. So, really, uh, I'm just kind of looking forward to like a, a relaxed summer. I just I can't wait for more of a burnt toast what the dick <clears throat> I can't wait for more like I'm just ready I guess I'm, I'm I'm extremely ready for summer over the last few weeks uh, it's been what is it it's been getting I'm not sure if it does this for you guys but in my hometown it gets extremely weathery where it gets warm <coughs> after being hot for like a ridiculously long time I have no runes for that I'm not gonna mage it um, but it gets really hot after being really cold for a long time so you get this sense at least in my hometown where when school is ending you are ready for it to end like it's like It's it's kind of a ridiculous feeling. Um, I I've basically been done with school for like the last three months, where you just go to school and you sit there looking at the clock, and then just uh, I want to get out of here. Um, RuneScape has been one of those things where uh, yeah, it's gonna be a terrible dunge, terrible dunge. Yeah, RuneScape is one of those things that you can always look forward to, at least to. Damn, you you get oh you do. That's a bummer. <coughs> Runescape is one of those things where you just kind of how did oh I'm at verbal points that's why. I'll just kind of keep a a tab on the telly. <coughs> Runescape is one of those things where you know it's it's uh, gonna be exciting. At least damn it hits high. <coughs> I basically know that I'm going to die now, so I'm going to stop eating, because I just want prayer. I'm going to start suiciding. <coughs> I'm just ready for like the boss to be done. Uh, this obviously isn't an example of how I would train Dungeoneering openly. Um, I think for max cape you need what is it you need uh three or you need ninety nine dungeoneering I'm pretty sure you um, I um, I don't think you need one twenty so that's good because one I hate the skill and two I hate the skill I need to do this actually boom oh 
and then obviously when I'm in combat I don't talk as much in a commentary kind of situation I'm not sure if you've seen that from any of my other videos but it gets extremely apparent to me at least and then I've got too much delay for that anyways so I'll just kinda don't know why I'm praying this damn that was ridiculous I literally got hit minus 500 prayer and then immediately got hit like a 480 I'm not sure what what it, I'm, I'm not even sure what this boss does I never bothered learning the bosses when I was getting done airing up um, like I went through this I went through this phase where I had zero money because I don't I don't remember what happened but I spent all my money that happens every now and then like I'll get 100 mil and then I'll go down to zero coins <clears throat> but I was at that part where I was at zero coins and um, Dungeoneering came out so it was like oh a skill that I can train that doesn't require me to have money well, that's fantastic <coughs> because I don't have any money and then I can get um, how does it give zero zero prayer is that just if I'm having like uh, I don't know I'm honestly confused on why that happens. It's got to be its effect because that's that's freaking annoying. But um, oh yeah, so I started training dungeoneering for a while. I never bothered learning the bosses. Um, I remember some of the items and the terms. Uh, it was a lot different when I used to do it. Now it seems a lot better. I'm at three deaths. So I'm gonna get like zero exp from this <coughs> from this floor. And then obviously I was expecting that because I think dungeoneering is shitty and probably one of the worst things ever. I wonder if I could just pray for soul split it, that'd be better. I think it would be. Yeah, it definitely would be. Because <laughs> it must be when you pray like the flex or something, it pushes it off you. This is what everyone does actually <clears throat> actually. Damn that like tickle in my throat. Primal Hatchet, but um, it's what everyone does. Uh, if you ever look at a guy and you you think of twenty one thousand, twenty one thousand XP, I'm a beast. Just kidding, that's shitty. Nothing special. Got nothing special. But uh, it's gonna be like minus sixty percent for for deaths. But Dungeoneering is a lot different. It's a lot better now. Uh, they updated it a lot, and it's actually pretty exciting. Minus how many? <sighs> Minus 40%. That is a bummer. But overall, Dungeoneering definitely looks different from how I used to train it. Uh, it used to be probably like a billion times slower. You needed a lot more concentration. That was a 30 minute dungeon. I know that people can do way better dungeons in like a tenth of the time and get probably uh, a, a lot more experience per hour than I just did. I was just getting like 42,000 experience per hour. Which is terrible for Dungeoneering. I know that because I get repeatedly told that for everyone. And I know most of you guys can probably go out there and show me up in Dungeoneering. Uh, this is obviously not one of my favorite skills. And I'm actually just going to go take a look at the reward shop and I think I'm going to end it with that. Uh, I need to get I need to train it a little bit because it's kind of embarrassing with how low my level is. Everyone nowadays has like a chaotic, so I'll start joining you guys in that. And then that's fantastic. Give me one second. Okay. Okay, okay. So two thousand six hundred and thirty tokens. Uh yeah, I just got two thousand one hundred and something. So I had like four hundred tokens. Um I guess that's not bad. I'm I'm 180 or I'm 197,000 off of my chaotic rapier or longsword or whatever I would buy. I don't even know what I'd buy now, honestly. But uh, obviously, there's there's a bunch of reasons why you should train dun dungeoneering. I just don't participate in those reasons, so I, I find it a uh, useless skill, I guess. But but overall that was kind of fun. Um, it was it was kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. It surprised me. 
I'm out of tea. I've been drinking it this whole time. If you haven't noticed, every now and then my voice dries out and I, I take a sip. But I'm out of tea, so I guess that means the video's over. Um, I, I got some comments yesterday saying that uh, people were hoping for a longer video. Uh, it was a disappointing 100th video. Um, yes, that's true. I've made... I've, the only problem with that is that I've made over 100 videos. I've made like 160. Only a lot of them are old, and I deleted them or put them on, put them on private. So I I'm, I don't really find it a big deal that it was um, 100 videos. And anyone here's a longer one. It's probably gonna be the longest out of the passive training videos uh, as I go through because it always has to be like a series of events that happens. And then the only time that you actually get the the major reward is at the end. And I don't just want to show you like a boss fight. So I can just show you me sucking the whole time. And then uh, hopefully you guys laugh at how bad I am or something. And I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I just kind of rambled on for... I'm not sure how long it's been. Probably like half an hour though. Actually that dungeon was half an hour. I'm guessing this is going to be like a 20 something minute video. But thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be coming at you with some more videos later. See you guys. Hey everybody, it's I'm Edge Rex. Uh, and what am I doing? If you had the action, I, 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 I am actually going to show you how to do more. I'm going to show you how to do more. I'm going to show you how to do more. I'm going to show you how to do more.